All right, guys, so we are back outside because we are about to do a very, very requested and important, I think, comparison between these two units. We've got the AR630 total stop system, the TSS, versus the Big Boy Washer Pro. Now, we're just gonna go side-by-side -side comparisons um, between the two on the performance numbers. Uh, we're gonna hook them up. I'm going to optimize these for car detailing, right? So I'm gonna get them right around that 1000 PSI and whatever flow, right? We're gonna set it to that 1000 PSI and then test the flow and see where, where it works best with whichever nozzle and I'll let you guys know. Because I've tested these both in the past extensively in a full video, um, I'll link those videos down in the description. So if you guys want a more in-depth, just like kind of overall coverage of the unit, you can go check those out. Today's video though is really to compare the AR630 to the Big Boy Washer Pro. Now the biggest difference between these two units is that the AR requires a 20 amp. The big boy, 15 amps. They run this thing with a four pole system so that you can lower those RPMs and run it at a lower amperage. Um, I actually don't know. Uh, I don't know. Is this two pole or four pole? I actually don't know off the top of my head. Um, but again, we're going to test these things out side by side and really see how they go. So let's get straight into the testing, guys. And then we'll look, talk about the uh, just kind of the build of these things and the features of them. But let's get straight into the testing because that's, I think, what we really want to know, right? So I'm going to hook this up. I'm going to have to move these on the ground. Um, just for the test, but we'll do that. We'll test the PSI. Again, I'm gonna optimize it at 1,000 PSI. Then we'll test the GPM. And then we'll also look at the amperage rating because with this guy, yes, it is. Uh, uh, it, it does require a 20 amp, but when you have it dialed back, and if you're losing a large enough, using a large enough orifice, you can get it to operate under 15 amps. So you, you can get there. Now, pricing for these things is very, very similar. Um, this one is about 800 bucks. You can find a 750 to 800 bucks unit only. The big boy is $6.99. It was on sale previously for their uh, annual sale. It's back up to its normal price, $6.99. Um, but when you factor in shipping, this one, I think it's about $65 shipping, depending on where you're at, obviously. And then the uh, AR you can find at that, that range of $750-$800 shipped. So when you factor in those two, you're really you're within 50 bucks of each other if you're not basically the same. So keep that in mind. Again, the AR is coming unit only. The big boy will come with this as well as a foam cannon uh, that you can use. So really cool there. Uh, let's go ahead and get these things plugged in, optimized to a thousand, and then we'll test for the GPM. All right, guys. So first up is going to be the AR630 TSS. Um, by the way, if you guys like these shirts, Happy Detailer is a line of shirts that I'm doing. If you want one, uh, it's available on my site. I'll link it down in the description for you. Um, I also have another design with a Porsche, so we're, just check it out. Uh, anyways, I have a 5.0 tip in on this pressure washer, and I'm getting 980 or so. I went to a 4.5, and I was getting like, I, I, I don't remember, 1150 or something like that. So just like I said, I want to keep this as close to 1,000 as I can, so we're going to go with this tip. Here we go. Yeah, maybe 950, just slightly under, but still right in that range. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a zip tie and zip tie the nozzle, uh, or yeah, zip tie this in the compressed mode so that the motor on this thing is running. I want to test the decibel level of this unit while it's running. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to take it, again, zip tie it, take it down the way so we're not getting the pressure noise, but we're getting the, the pump itself, and then test that. However, before we do that, let me check the amperage real quick. It's just right back here. Maxed out at 14.86 with this 5.0 nozzle. So good, right? Okay, now let's go ahead and do the uh, noise test. All right, guys, so as you can hear, the machine is running right here. For this test, just to be accurate, I'm gonna stand right next to it just and keep it the phone up here where it has the decibel reading. Now again, this decibel reading isn't 100% accurate on the actual decibel level. However, it'll give us a good comparison of one machine to another. Usually with decibel meters, you have to have them calibrated. This is simply on my phone, but again, it should give us a good idea of what's going on. So let me find it. It's holding at an average of 76 decibels. Now, another thing to note is just the response time before tri pulling the trigger and how fast this thing fires on. Here we go. Not much of a delay pretty much instantaneous. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and test the GPM. Again, this is about 950 to 980 or so PSI. Again, I'll monitor it as I'm doing this as well. We're gonna let it run for one minute and then we'll weigh it out to make sure uh, to see where our numbers are at. So here we go. All right guys, so as it's running, as you can see, I mean, gosh, 
I'm gonna say it's, it's 950, 950 PSI. All right, there is one minute. So we're gonna go ahead and weigh this. Now the bucket weighs 40.9 ounces, so we're gonna subtract that from the total here. Uh, let's get this ready. All right, so I am at 339.3. So guys, that is giving me a total of 2.2022140. So 2.20 GPM. And like I said, guys, that is operating under 15 amps, uh, 950 PSI, 2.2 gallons per minute uh, with a 76 decibel rating. All right, so next up is the Big Boy Washer Pro. As you can see, I have it set to 1,000 PSI, and that is with a 4.5 orifice versus the AR was on a 5.0. So here we go. So there you go, 1,000 PSI. And the amperage rating is at 12.2, so running extremely efficient here, guys. There is a slight delay in comparison to the AR when it fires on just Not bad, right? But just something to note, slight difference. Uh, let's go ahead and do the audible uh, decibel test. So same thing, I'm gonna put this in the exact same spot. I'll stand right over the machine again and we'll test the decibel level. All right guys, so here I am over the machine. I have to say, for me personally, it sounds quieter, but let's go ahead and get the decibel meter up here and actually test it. Okay, so average is bouncing between 72 and 73. So right there, that's, as you can see right here guys on the side here, it does show average and that's what I'm basing it on. So it's bouncing between 72 and 73 average. So it is quieter. All right guys, and once again, we're gonna go ahead and fill the bucket for one minute. It's already emptied out and then we will weigh it out and see. So here we, oh, hang on, let me reset this. And here we go. All right, guys, there is one minute with the Washer Pro. Again, we're gonna go ahead and weigh this out. Let me get this thing teared out and then we'll do the calculations. So here we go. So I'm at 317.8 currently. Um, in the original video that I did, it ran a little bit longer. This one was spot on, so 317.8. Uh, let's see here. 317.8 minus 40.9 divided by 135.5. 2.043542, so 2.04 GPM, 2.04, so less flow, but still a phenomenal amount of flow. Slightly more uh, PSI, so that kind of evens it out a little bit. I mean, slightly, it's 1,000 PSI versus the one was 950. 2.2 versus 2.04, way lower on the amperage reading. Let's go ahead and uh, put these things up with the foam cannon. Now, the big boy foam cannon that it comes with, actually, uh, they state that it comes with a 1.15 orifice. I like, like just because I, I'm used to, you know, I'm, I'm always running the MJJC, I always put the 1.1 in. A lot of pressure washer brands won't, will recommend going with a larger one, especially with this flow rate, because it can spike the amperage. So I wanna know if it will. So we're gonna run that 1.1 and see. Really quickly guys, I just ran just, you know, it's empty bottle, but the orifice is there. So I just ran it through here and I already forgot, 12.93, I think, amps. Yeah, actually it, it peaked at 13 amps with the 1.15. So let's go ahead and see what a 1.1 will do. All right guys, so I have an MJJC SV3 here. This has the 1.1 millimeter orifice installed. Just pulled the trigger, I was monitoring it. Same result, it was getting me to 13 amps. So we're safe with the 1.1s with the Big Boy Washer Pro, it's over there. Uh, really quick, I'm gonna put some soap in here, show you the soap production and then rinse away and then we'll do that on the AR as well. All right guys, so here's the panel. I'm gonna spray with the foam cannon. I added just a little over an ounce of Adam's Mega Foam into the MJJC. So we're gonna take out the nozzle. I rinsed off the panel so that it's wet, so that it'll be a fair representation between the, uh, both of the units. Here we go. So one simple pass, super, super thick foam as always, I mean, with the comparison, I mean, even honestly, even with a Ryobi, if you're using an MJJC with a 1.1 and Adam's Mega Foam, you're gonna get pretty good foam. So it is what it is there. But uh, as you can see, let me go ahead and show you. Again, guys, this was just purely one pass. 
You can see the foam is sticking other nicely, giving it a chance to work uh, and really start to break down and everything and pull it down. There you go, you can see the section starting to pull down now. And just now that it has, is actually spraying foam, I'm gonna check the amperage again. And yeah, guys, we're right in that 12.95 to 13 amp range, so good to go. Now let's go ahead and show you the rinse capability. Again, this is with the Washer Pro with the 4.5 orifice. Here we go. So I know it's, I know I'm pushing it down. It's probably not the best representation, but with this PSI and this amount of flow, it makes it so easy to rinse everything away. Yes, you can absolutely get by, especially if you're, car, you're starting your car detailing business or you're on an extreme budget. The Ryobi 1800 that is available at Home Depot right now, currently on sale for 99 bucks, will get the job done very well. Again, you just get like a, a good foam cannon like this, pair it up with Adam's Mega Foam or something like that. You're gonna get great foam. You're gonna get the job done, no problem. It's just gonna take you longer to rinse. The machine's gonna be louder. It's not gonna last as long as these professional grade uh, commercial units. That's why I'm comparing the, the Washer Pro and the, and the AR630. They're in that same class, right? Very, same, very close in price point, very close in build quality, or at least um, uh, like, you know, a triplex pump, universal motor, all that kind of good stuff. So that's why we did it this way. As you can see though, I mean, even, like I can move the, the, the door and the door's not light. This isn't a Tesla door or something. It's, it's fairly heavy. So um, yeah, great performance out of the Washer Pro. Let's go ahead and hook up the AR. We'll test the uh, foam production and what it's reading on the amperage with this 1.1 uh, and then go from there. All right, guys, we now have the AR hooked back up. Uh, again, we're gonna hook up the same foam cannon. Uh, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go over there and check the amperage rating with this foam cannon, again, with the 1.1 orifice. All right, so there's the issue. I'm at 17.83. Now I still use a 1.1 with this unit because I'm on, I have the, the capability to do it with the 20 amp. I also run it uh, in my mobile detailing business um, with the 1.1, so it, it, whatever, right? So um, it, I don't know, is that gonna wear down the motor faster? Again, 17.8 or whatever it was, it's still under the 20 that they, you know, so I don't think that's an issue. I've been using this thing for a long time with no issue. So here's the foam production. So very, very similar here. I mean, if I had to give it, which one got a, a tad bit more foam, I might, I'd might. probably lean to the AR. Um, but again, we're running, it's not capable for everybody because it is at that, you need a 20 amp for that. So, but very, very good foam. Uh, let's go ahead and rinse it away again with a 5.0 nozzle. So let me double check that this is, yeah, here we go. Here's the rinse away. So yeah, guys, with, again, this one's running slightly less PSI, but with more GPM, I don't feel any difference. It has the same amount of kickback, a uh, ton of power, so no issue there. And just so you know, guys, I, I should have checked it with the Washer Pro, I didn't, but PSI with this is running at 1400 PSI. Now guys, as you can see, my AR is pretty beat up. Um, this is the total stop system. Uh, does it show on here? Do, 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 uh... I don't know if it says on here. Uh, I'm not seeing it anywhere, but it is the AR630 TSS. Uh, it's beat up because this is the unit I've been using in my professional detailing business in one of my trucks for the past few years. Um, I've actually ran it with an Uberflex hose and it's been no issue at all. I've actually really, really liked it that way. Uh, the Uberflex hose just gives us a nice uh, lightweight variant um, option for a pressure washer like this. But let's go ahead and look at the overall dimensions. This is gonna be a rough estimate because I'm doing this all one-handed. But there's that. So we're gonna call it 15 inches long by, we'll do the whole, now let's just go actually from connection to connection. So we'll try and line that up as good as possible. I'm gonna call that 10 inches roughly uh, wide and then height to the highest spot is another 10 inches. So uh, what was that, 15? by 10 by 10. Now next up, we have the Big Boy Washer Pro. Um, just looking at it, it looks to be longer, but again, we're gonna test that out here and see. Um, one thing to note is on the AR, there is no storage for your nozzles, okay? Uh, versus on the Big Boy, there is storage on the, for the nozzles on the back. Uh, not a deal breaker by any means, but just something I wanted to note. Uh, let's go overall dimensions here. It's about it there. 
okay, to, I moved it a little bit, but I'm gonna say roughly 18 inches long, so definitely longer. We're gonna go widest point to widest point. Looks like the this piece there. Back here, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna try and give you guys a nice straight down view of it so you can see that it's accurate. So about there to about, there. we're gonna call it nine inches uh, wide. And then the tallest point, the handle is definitely up taller. Um, and the bracket that it sits on does sit up higher than that one. You can see the feet on this thing. So it's definitely gonna be taller. Uh, and it's probably, again, rough, rough estimate here, guys, 11 and a half inches. Okay, now let's go ahead and talk about the design of the two units and kind of highlight the features of them. On the AR, you have your basic toggle on off switch right here on the front. It does have a nice waterproof protector on it. Um, you have your water outlet here, water inlet here. Uh, you have your, um, uh, unloader valve here and into your pressure uh, total stop system switch here. So all that looks good. This Now this does just kind of bounce around a little bit. It's protected, but just to know it is bound, does bounce around a little bit. You have your oil fill here, oil um, reservoir check on the back side there. And the casing seems to be, it seems to be motor and then it seems to go into crankcase and pump right here. So tri triplex pump right there. And then we'll go and switch over to the big boy and we'll go straight to the pump so you guys can see if there's any differences in pump. And there definitely are, it's definitely a different pump. Um, but again, also a three, uh, 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 a triplex pump with ceramic pistons, same like this guy here. So built very, very well. Um, you have your inlet with the hose, uh, uh, mesh screen there, outlet here, runs into your unloader, unloader here. Uh, your little regulator here, so you can you can drop PSI and stuff here, but it's really more meant to fine tune. You don't wanna crank this thing all the way up or down. You wanna kinda set it to its point and then make all the other adjustments with the nozzle. Um, then you have your uh, total stop uh, switch here. And this one just seems like it's in a better spot to me. I don't know, I don't know if it actually is. It just looks like it's safe right there to me. Although, I guess if you knock it from the side, it's a little more exposed versus this one's enclosed here, but if you knock it from the top, I don't know. So whatever. Um, you have your on-off switch here, which is a toggle on-off switch. You also have a little overload uh, uh, breaker there. Um, around the back, like we talked about, you do have the nozzle storage. You have your oil fill here and your oil uh, check there. All right, you guys, so there you have it. Side-by-side -side comparison, AR630 TSS versus the Washer Pro. Which one should you get? It's up to you. I guess maybe go off of design or, I take that back. If you're running on a 15 amp, uh, then go with the Washer Pro for sure because then you don't have to manipulate anything. You can still run a 1.1 MJJC. No problem, it's still under that 15 amps, so that's good to go. It is a dedicated 15 amp though, guys. Keep that in mind. That thing's running at, say, 13 amps. If, you're, if, if you have something else that's running at, you know, uh, uh, it's cumulative, right? So uh, 13 amps plus another two amps, you're gonna be at 15, you're gonna be maxing it out, you could uh, pop a breaker. So just make sure it's a dedicated line for that thing, you'll be good to go. If you have the 20 amp capability, the AR has been around forever. Um, I've been using it for years, it's fantastic. Um, the Big Boy Washer Pro is slightly quieter. The pressure switch on the AR seems a little bit better, it just seemed more precise, really, really quick. The other one, uh, the Washer Pro just had a slight delay, not bad, but just something to note. Um, yeah, either way, guys, I don't think you can go wrong. Again, if you're comparing apples to apples, you have to look at longevity in that equation as well. And the AR has been around for a very, very long time. We know the history on that thing. We know it's serviceable and all the components are available. The Big Boy is a newer unit to us in the US. It's been available in other parts of the world. It's I, So far from initial testing, I absolutely love it. It works super, super good. And another thing is Big Boy is stocking repair replacement parts in the US. So if it if anything happens to it, you can go get it warranty, or go, go get it serviced, no problem. Um, one other thing to note though, is with these pressure washers, I know, I think they're both they're both running 1800 watt motors. When you use that with a generator, for some reason it needs, it, an 1800 watt generator is not gonna fire the thing. In most cases, you need to at least double it, I guess is the rule of thumb. Um, so that would be a 3600 continuous watt at minimum. Some, some sites will say three times the wattage. So you want a significant uh, generator for that. With that said, for some reason, for some odd anomaly, weird reason, the AR works with that generator. I don't know, the Active 2.3, same thing, does not work with this generator. Again, it just, it needs more to pull from the generator. So um, for some reason though, the AR is working for me. 
I have no explanation for that at all, except it does. So I don't know. Uh, anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that video helps you. Again, if you're in the market for one of these, one of the other, if you're on a 15 amp, definitely go with the Washer Pro. If you have the option for a 20, the AR has been around forever, um, but then you can really, and, and again, we did get more flow out of that one too, slightly, 2.2 versus 2.04. Um, uh, other than that, go on color, color choice, I guess, uh, and that should do it for you guys. So thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to like the video. Make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell. We'll see you on the next one.